Hi, I'm Wendy Hollander, and now that I've shown you how to add watercolor to your flower, I'm going to show you how to put the final details to create a very, very detailed flower using both watercolor pencils and colored pencils. Once my watercolor has dried, I can go back into it with these dry polychromo Faber-Castell pencils. And so now I'm working with a very dark color to continue to add the detail and the form and structure of the flower. So I'm working inside the cup flower and now I'm taking a purple pencil to, to intensify the color. But the whole time I'm drawing, I'm thinking about the three-dimensional quality of this flower and creating tones in purple, but tones that go from dark to light so that this flower will feel extremely three-dimensional. At the same time, it's very, very important to show how the flower is structured and what areas are overlapping and are inside and outside on the flower. Because in botanical drawing, it's crucial to have important structure showing. Because this is how you'll be able to understand what the flower looks like and be able to actually identify a flower from this kind of a drawing. And as I said in my earlier video, I always work from the real flower so that I can really make sure I get the actual details of the flower in my drawing and also so that I can make it extremely three-dimensional. It's much easier to translate a flower if you have a real model to look at. Now I'm going back in with a dark pencil to, under, to, to show the overlapping and I'm adding shadows underneath the petals so that the petals on top sit, really look like they're sitting on top of the flower. 